I'm Scott Euknes for Climate Impact Company. Let's take a look at the remainder of summer through next winter climate outlook for Europe. Well, right now we have a dry drought condition across much of Europe into Western Russia, and it's been hot. However, we're expecting a bit of a pattern change in August as an upper trough located over the northern portion of the North Atlantic emits some shortwave energy strong enough to bring showers to Western Europe and Southern Europe. So the fringe portion of the drought area, the west and south uh, portion, should see some beneficial rainfall to end summer. However, Central and Eastern Europe drought conditions will continue. Anomalous warmth is also likely to continue in August into September across Central and Eastern Europe. Now, taking a look at autumn and winter, it's an interesting forecast. Even though Europe is a great distance from the East Pacific, we do expect the evolving El Nino to affect the European climate. This El Nino might be different, an El Nino Modaki. That's when the warmth in the East Pacific is biased towards the dateline, and that will affect the upper air pattern that causes the European climate. During autumn, an upper trough is expected to form over northern Europe, bringing some much needed rainfall to that zone and cooler temperatures. To the south, southern Europe and eastern Europe will remain dry and on the warm side. Once we get into the winter season, early season Arctic air is expected to form over central and west central Russia. Due to the El Nino Modaki, there's a high correlation with the negative phase of the North Atlantic Oscillation, which means a big ridge over Greenland and downstream and upper trough across Europe, which will invite that Arctic air westward across Europe, so this winter looks snowy and very cold for Europe.